shaping our body like one of those games where the ball falls on the top and there's all those pegs and it bounces down the pegs and basically we're getting energy from the sun and so it's passing through our system kind of at a randomness that we've kind of preset so we have control over what we surround ourselves with which is our system Control of what we surround ourselves with. This is in regards to the something like trash channel, but that enough 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 staff. Sorry for the pronunciation. Said that she thinks her environment is what led to her introspection, and I disagree. I think possibly for the first few years that could be true, but for the latter years when you can choose your environment, whether it be in grass, surrounded by technology, surrounded by friends, surrounded by boats, water, whatever, surrounded by metal, surrounded by wood, I don't know, I'm just making stuff up right there. But you can choose what you surround yourself with. And in that regard, you can control your environment. There is the aspect that the Earth is only so big, but in that bigness, it's huge. Huge enough that you can literally con you put it, pretty much put it whatever you want in there. Since we are a rich country. I suppose this deals more with whether whether you're responsible for for how you be for if you're responsible for what you become if your environment is responsible for it or if you're responsible for it and probably it's a bit of both in the first few years when you don't have control over your yourself and your life and such the early influence is Verdian. I suppose could which leads to the whole de-schooling concept where you have to unlearn all that you learned 